What is happening, everybody? Welcome to the finale of Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Right. It's time to take out Ganon. Yeah. Beat this game. All right. We don't start with the Master Sword right away. Uh, but you gotta hit his tail. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and target him. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said target him. Thank you. You gotta get around him. You gotta wait for him to hit, uh, try to attack you. Then you can get under him and hit his tail. There you go. Just like that. Yeah. Just straight around him. Boom. Yeah. And the second phase, which will happen pretty soon, will be to use the Master Sword on him. But for now, we just gotta concentrate on hitting his tail. Yeah. Come on. Come at me, bro. There you go. Boom. Haha. -ha. Yeah, nothing to it. I think you have to use the hammer, actually, but uh, I'm going to stick with the bigger on sword for now. Come on, buddy. Get a piece. Get some. Oh, jeez. Yeah. Watch where you're swinging these things, man. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice shot. Nice. Oh man, yeah. Hate how Zelda screams when you, whenever you get hit. It's kind of annoying. Come on. There you go. Damn it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, nice. Alright. Damn it. I didn't think it would hit me like that. That's alright. There we go. Boom! Yeah, good stuff. As long as you just keep tar keep them on target, it'll be okay. Yeah, I got two fairies in my inventory just in case he kills me, which... I mean... He's getting lucky shots, but... Not really too much to worry about. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Whoa, why is it completely dark? There we go, alright. Alright, let's go grab the Master Sword. There we go. Awesome. Alright. There we go. Now the second phase of battle. Yeah, you gotta hit him with the light arrows and then... Hit him and then hit his tail. There we go. I think only the Master Sword can uh, damage him at this point. But well, I really don't know for sure. I haven't, I haven't uh, played this game as much to figure that out, but whatever. We're going to go with the Master Sword just because I just want to play it safe here. Yeah, very easy. Uh, very easy fight if you get the hang of it. Haha, yeah. Oh! Oh, Zelda's got like something going on here. Alright. Damn right. Whoa. She passes out. Ah, uh, yeah. Alright then. Oh, I was gonna do a jumping attack, but never mind. Oh! Oh, stab him right in the face! Oh my god! A violent game, man. <laughs> what do you mean, six sages? Oh yeah, she's a seventh sage. I forgot all about that. Yeah. So they gotta seal him. Huh. What are they called? Gods, I guess? All right. Well, we couldn't save Hyrule as a kid, but at least we could do it as an adult. I guess all these people—I guess all these people had to come of age or something like that, become sages in between the uh, seven-year gap in between, uh, you know, child Link and adult Link uh, growing up, or Link growing up in between the seven years. I guess all of those people did too, because they weren't really sages. 
uh, when we were, when Link was a kid. So I don't know. That's just my theory. I don't know. Uh oh. You what? Whoa. You know it's uh you know it's bad when you, when you're using all caps here. Well, at least you use my name in lower case. All right, he's he's done on being on all caps now. <laughs> Good. We'll just seal you again. But hurt detected. <laughs> there we go. Nice little ending here. It is true, he does naturally have the Triforce of Power, so... But how is that possible then? Like, I don't know, but Zelda really... That's why I don't really get much of the Zelda games, because, like... A lot of the, uh... A lot of the storylines don't make sense, man. A lot of the stuff does not make sense at all. Like, I don't know, it's just me, I guess. Eh. I have to do what I have to do, you know. Good. For a time. <laughs> Until he comes back. I don't really think it was here. No, yeah, well, eh, you know. That was too... Too little to use the Master Sword, but... Okay. Well, we gotta do that, absolutely. I have a better sword anyway, I have the bigger on sword. That sucks. Means you can't grow up in between the ages of, uh, I guess, I don't know, what, what, how old is he when he's a kid? I guess like maybe nine or something like that. Can't really, can't live, th can't live ages nine to fifteen. <laughs> oh, or he can just go back to being a kid. But wait a minute, so he'd have to live through all the... That's pretty mean. Rather just stay as an adult. Okay, that's a really weird looking face. But you wouldn't you wouldn't but you wouldn't know any of this if you go back in time. It's a paradox. Guess. Why are you playing your lullaby after you play the uh, Song of Time? Or, okay, whatever. It's just... Love this game for the mechanics. Do not like it for the story. I... The mechanics are really good for the time. For, you know, when 3D stuff was just beginning to make, a, make, make an impact. Like right before the new millennium, you know. But... The story just, I don't know. Because you're sending him back in time, okay? So, oh, there's a troll owl. There he is. Anyways. Alright, so, the adventure's finally over. But not yet. I still have to do the uh, side quest stuff. I still have to get some more Skulltulas uh, to get the heart container that has the skull. I'm not going to get all the Skulltulas, I'm just going to get up to 50. So I think I need like four more to get the uh, heart piece from the Skull Uh Damp I, I still have to get the one from Dampe and Dampe's Dig. So I, I mean, I already showed that off virtually, so I'm not even going to show that one. Um, same with the one with the frogs, you just follow along with them. I'm not going to get that one at all, because it's just it waste too much time. Hell with that. Uh, but there's, I know there's a few more heart pieces I need to get. I have to get ice arrows, I have to get the other fairy. I, I forgot where those were. I'll look them up and do that, and then uh, we'll be done with this game. F finally, after s seven months. And we'll keep in mind, I live in a pretty crowded place. I mean, my roommate's out of the house right now. That's pretty much the only time I can really record is when he's out. Because, I mean, I'm, like, I'm right next to the door of his room. So, the only time I can really record is when he's not in the house. So... Yeah, that's why it's been taking me so long to do this. That's why I've been it's been taking so long for me to do, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, Final Fantasy IX. So yeah, but when I'm done with those, I'm gonna move into my new place, which is four bedroom, four bathroom, 
I'll, have, I'll literally have my own little, my own little place, so I'll be able to record whenever the hell I feel like it, which is good. This Deku, this Deku Sprout, nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and review this game. This has been known to be the best Zelda game of all of them. It's popularly, you know, seen as that. Uh, I do think it's a great game. Um, it's really balanced. Uh, the dungeons are well, um, we'll say, uh, well, um, well, well coordinated. Um, the characters are kind of memorable, but not really. But that's only because I've been, you know, I've, I've been spoiled with like Final Fantasy IV, VI, and seven. You know what I mean? Like before this game game came out. There were a lot of other games that weren't as popular, but had way better characters. So, yeah. But either way, it's, it's, I think it's a good game. The graphics are really good for its time. Late, 90, late 1998 was when it came out. It's just a... the hell? Anyways, whatever. Huh! <laughs> so, you know, the graphics are really good for its time, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're like blocky and kind of weird, but that's okay, because it's really cool. Look at Oh, Ingo and Talon got back at, uh, are chilling again. Nice. That's cool. Haha. <laughs> Good stuff. Everyone's getting together and celebrating. Awesome. Good stuff, man. There's the begging guy. <laughs> uh, the story, like I said, it makes zero s- What the hell is- Okay. The story, like I said, makes zero- uh, makes- To me, it makes zero sense. It makes no sense at all. It's like, okay, you go ahead of time, ten years into the future, to beat Ganondorf, and then it gets sent back to the past anyways. So it can not repeat itself? I mean, you don't take away the lessons you learn in the future and bring them back to the past. That doesn't really happen, unless you're playing Chrono Trigger. And even in Chrono Trigger, like, the physics, I don't know, if you know anything about temporal physics, then, then time travel in this game, in, in any game really, is just dumb. So, I can't get the story. Um, the mechanics, for its time, let me tell you, this game has not really aged well in my opinion. But, that's okay, because to me it's going to be memorable. To me it's memorable. To me, you know, it's high school memories and stuff like that. Um, but the mechanics do get a little bit weird. But that's okay, because I can give this game a pass on that. Because this game was, like I said, released in late 1998. And this is before everyone mastered, unless you were playing a PC game. This was when, right when console games were just beginning to emulate the PC genre of uh, first party action. Okay? Up until then it was all, you know, up, uh, up until then it was all like a third person view. You know what I mean? Or an overhead view, like, like a, a link to the past and the other Zelda game, or side-scrolling. So, this and Mario 64 really did, attempted, and succeeded to make breakthroughs in that. And you have to take that into consideration when you're reviewing this game. Uh, Nintendo, or and any other uh, publisher back then, did not really master the art of having a 3D environment of, a, of an action game before before this, before uh, Mario 64. So keeping that in consideration, I like the mechanics of this game. They haven't aged well, but that's okay, because when you play it, you keep that in consideration, you maintain that perspective, and everything is fine. You know what I mean? Uh, this game actually, uh, about five years after it was released, when Wind Waker was uh, getting ready to get released for the GameCube, it came out with like a second quest kind of deal called Master Quest. Ocarina of Time. Uh, I've tried to play that. It's a pretty good game. Uh, but, you know, I, I haven't mastered this game enough to play the Master Quest of Ocarina of Time. But, yeah. Uh, I mean, all the other, all the platforms that you see Zelda doing pretty much have emulated and improved upon the uh, approach that this game attempted. Which is great. So, this game, if you haven't played it, uh, download for your virtual console if you have a Wii or Wii, or Wii U. Um, I don't know if you could buy a physical anywhere. Uh, 
But yeah, I don't know if you can buy physical. If you have, if you, there's a store near you that sells classic uh, consoles, um, pick it up and get it. You know, get it in 64 and grab this game. Uh, if you have, a, if you have a GameCube or a Wii, or I don't know if a Wii U is backwards compatible, but if you want have any of those, you should totally uh, get um, the one where it has Master Quest on it. That disc, I don't know if I don't know how many are in print or whatever, but yeah. Anyway, so this is the end. Uh, but I'm not finished completely. Yeah, good stuff. I don't know if the game resets or not, but whatever. But like I said, I still got a lot of uh, side stuff I want to do. I have to get ice arrows. I have to get the other fairy. I have to get um, heart pieces that I've missed out on, as well as some skull tealers so I can get the heart piece with the skull tealers. But either way, that's probably gonna be like maybe one or two videos. Uh, so yeah, we're done. I hope you all liked this video, uh, this uh, series as much as as I have had uh, making it. Um, sorry if it was weird at times. I know like I messed up in the water temple a lot. That's just because I haven't played this game in a while. But yeah, we are done with the uh, with Ocarina of Time. Anyways, uh, the game I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a couple games after this and Final Fantasy IX. I like how these games are both. Ending at the same time, pretty much. That's pretty nice. Uh, those games are going to be surprises, but you guys are going to like them. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.